Oh, hey there, people. How the frig's it going today? Well, it's a little late in the day right now. I got up a little while ago and had a shower, and time flew by, and it's already time to go to work. Let's go put in our time for the day. I just farted on the cat. How's it, how's it smell? I don't exactly know what the hell that means, but probably I'm gross and disgusting, and she hates my face for shitting in her mouth. But, um, yeah, we gotta head off to work, put in our fucking shift for the day. And then, I don't know what we're doing tonight. Thinking about going to Walmart and getting a blowtorch. One of those propane jobbies. Just so I can uh, try and use that to get the shit off the guy for the snowblower. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to wait for the comments on yesterday's video to... Did you leave my stuff alone, kid, then? And go from there. Read the comments that you guys suggest and go from there. So when I get home tonight, I'll check the comments. And we'll go from there. Alrighty. Let's rip tit and get off to work. Start this day. Ends at 9. So noon till nine, not a big deal. Get out of there. Walmart's still open for another two hours after I'm done work tonight, so that's bonus. Go see about getting a blowtorch. Cause uh, chatting with the guy over at Hamlin's about this problem, he suggested that I superheat the um, the tight, like the uh, the rim, and then or not heat, superheat it, but just heat it up, and then you can blast it with penetrating oil, and it causes the oil to deep penetrate, and that might make it more or less able to get the fuck out of there but that still leaves me with the problem with those stupid sleeves like that shit don't let go so don't exactly know what i am going to do about those and the new kit doesn't come with sleeves so i really don't know what i'm supposed to do about those the new kit the axle just looks like it just goes through the guy and that's it tires bolt onto it and fuck that's all she wrote so i'm gonna have to look into that a little bit more i guess the easiest thing to do would be to figure out how that keyway works by looking at the instruction keying the old uh, gears on there and like I said, put the new fucking hex shaft in on the old drive shaft and be done with it. We'll have to look in to see how exactly that keyway attaches on and go from there. It's so warm out today that the mirror doesn't stay pointing out the back window. It was really bad before when I had that stupid uh, Bluetooth car mirror on. Maybe go to Walmart tonight after work, see a guy about a blowtorch. And depending on how I feel after work, maybe go out to the garage and blowtorch the rim and see if I can take it off. Because that would be nice if I could get that rim to release. Yeah, it would definitely be nice if things did work out and everything was fucking cool. So apparently tomorrow is the big release of the Grand Theft Auto uh, stunning cunt, I mean cunning stunt upgrade, which basically looks like it brings uh, track mania to Grand Theft Auto. Like the tracks are really crazy now. You got fucking like tubes and shit you can drive through, and which I guess means there's gonna be tubes and shit for people to make custom races with. So that ain't all that bad. We might be able to get some really fucking wicked custom races out of this new mod. Like, I mean, really cut wicked. So that's kind of excited. But uh, I just haven't been in a video game playing mood lately. I've just been getting home from work, doing my shit, and going to bed, and then waking up and going back to work. You know, that whole adulting thing. And that's been working out for me so far, so I'm going to keep rolling with it. It's been working so far, so I'm just going to keep doing it. It's going to keep doing it, governor. So yeah, we'll get this shift over with today. And then tonight we'll go to Walmart and see a guy about a blowtorch. You check the website and they don't have any torches on the website. So I'm hoping they still sell them. If not, well, fuck it. We'll just go home and, I guess, do something else. Two more days after this shift and then I'm off for one day. Then I work one day and then I'm off for another day. Fuck it. I don't know why they can give me two days off back to back, but whatever. I don't make the schedules. I just got to abide by them, right? That's, that's the way it works. So that's the way she's gonna work. It's the way she's gonna fucking work. But anyway, people, I'm gonna shut her down here. We're almost at work. And I'll fucking talk to you guys after work. Alrighty, guys, it's freaking in the ship time. Time to head out to Walmart and see about getting the torch. Let's get. For frig's sakes, I set up the camera. I forgot to do the friggin' video. But uh, anyway, work was work. Now it's time to go home, but we're gonna pop by the old Wally World. See about getting a blowtorch. I've been wanting to get one of these fucking things for a while. And stupid me, when I was at Blokes, we went to Pig Iron Princess Auto. And uh, I bought Dad the kit, because Dad had one of these old torch kits. 
where you basically it's like this brass fitting on the top of it you turn it on you spark it with this flint and steel operation like a it's on a spring-loaded guy and you, you spark and you light it and you go and then when you're done you just turn it off well he always hated that thing because he there's been times when he came over to do plumbing at the house and he forgot his sparker and you're not supposed to light those with a lighter but if you're a trained professional not giving a fucker then you'll probably end up using a lighter because you're just a not giving a fucker right so uh, this is gonna hurt <clears throat> okay we're good so like I said if you're not if you just don't give a fuck then you're just gonna basically use a sparker uh, or use a lighter to ignite it and go and he's always wanted one of the ones where it's just you Jesus fuck what the hell are they doing Oh, they're cutting the concrete. That's a cool tool. But anyway, um, yeah. Oh, fuck that reeks. Blech. Oh, fuck. Would they make the pavement out of here? Shit. Fuck. Anyway, um, so you always wanted one of them. And at Pr Princess Auto, I got a kit, and it came with a a propane cylinder and the fucking easy fire propane guy and all that shit. And it was a whopping, like, 20 bucks. So, let's go see if uh, Walmart has anything equivalent. So I shall return. All right, guys. Let's get the fuck out of here. Got a blowtorch. Bought some chicken. I'm going to make some chicken tonight. They had uh, chicken leg quarters on sale. Two bucks a leg. So eight bucks for a pack of the fuckers. I felt the need to uh, pick one up. I got the blowtorch. Came with the blue bottle of propane, not the yellow bottle. Church told me to get the yellow bottle. Something about it burns hot for... Pretty sure he told me the reason why it burns hotter. And I'm also pretty sure I forgot the reason why it burns hotter. But uh, apparently the yellow bottle burns hotter than the blue bottle. But I'm pretty sure for what I'm doing, it, it'll, it'll burn hotter now. So we should be okay. Holy fucking speed bump, guys. Jesus, Murphy. I think I'm going to a skate park. But, um... Yeah, let's go home. I'm not going to do any blow torching tonight because uh, the sun's going down and normally when this happens lately, the temperature has been dropping down to like 19, down to 15 at night. It's still fucking 26 degrees out. The reason for that is the same reason why my phone went off today to warn me that it's fucking hot out. Yeah, apparently it was like 32 out, feels like 38. And I'm like, oh yeah, like that explains why it's fucking... 30 in the office then. I swear they don't run the air conditioner because they're trying to save money on hydro. Don't want to pay the power bill. Whatever. So it is what it is. And what it is, it's pretty stupid. But it is what it is. So fuck, let her go, right? Let it go. Let it go. Bunch of stupid music, songs and things. Let it go. Ah, oh, fuck. So, yeah. So you guys remember last fuck, I can't even remember what it was. I ordered a video card. It was the GTX 4 or 480. Holy shit, Adam. Thank God it wasn't that one. The GT, it was like the 970 or some shit like that. I can't remember what it was. And I said, uh, I got returned. So they sent me my money back. Blah, 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 blah. I went to my PayPal. I just let it sit on my PayPal and fester there. And then I just been letting my YouTube money every month pick up and been saving up the PayPal until the next generation video cards came out. Well, finally got a lock on a friggin' 1070. So I ordered it up. The video card was, uh, I think it was 500 and change before tax. Anyway, I ordered it up the card. It's the GeForce 1070, not the Founders Edition. It's uh, by a company called EVGA. So I got that coming to me. And then I ordered the card on Friday and I thought to myself, I'm a fucking idiot. Canada Post might be going on strike. So far they haven't from what I read. Uh, I thought there was going to be a lockout, but apparently there wasn't a lockout. But then I got the confirmation email today from Newegg, and it's being sent by Purelater. So fucking right on. At least it was sent by a company who isn't striking for more money. In a way, I understand what the Canada Post dicks are striking for, but also in a way it kind of burns my balls. Because, do you realize around here, from what I've been told, a letter carrier, like the person who goes door to door and drops the mail in the mailbox, they make 30 bucks an hour. Last time I checked, the only education you need to be a letter carrier is the ability to distinguish between numbers and letters and read. That's it. 
and the ability to get door to door to put the letters in the box. That's about all there is to it. I don't know how much sorters get paid or anything, but they're mainly more pissed off about the fact that the way the retirement pensions are being treated, how they're no, how it's like a locked in bullshit or something. They're not really going for more money. They're going for more benefits. They want to be treated more fair, and Canada Post doesn't want, or the government doesn't want to. The government wants to change the way things work, and they're like, fuck no. But right now, they're on this like 30 day cooldown period, but it doesn't affect the delivery of my video card. And you know what, honestly, Canada Post needs to watch out because uh, I know I myself, and as well as a lot of other people, the moment I heard Canada Post was going on strike, I called up all my utility companies hydro, gas, water, all of them, and said, listen, can you guys email me my bills? Oh, for sure. What email address do you want to send it to? Give them the email address. I don't get paper bills for hydro. I don't get paper bills for gas anymore. Going forward, that is. So I won't get those bills anymore. Going forward, they're all going to come to my email address. So that's less work for the post office dick to do. You know, so because of that, if a lot of people did that, they wouldn't need these people delivering the mail anymore and they wouldn't get their non-educated, needed, just fucking walk door to door and drop letters in a mailbox job for 30 bucks an hour or whatever the fuck it is. But I know they get paid a lot because they're unionized in government. And I used to be one of those sluts back in the day. And now I'm not. And you, the struggle is real. So, gotta be careful when you're begging for more shit government can turn around and say fuck your ass jobs ended get the fuck out they did it to me they could do it to you anyway people i'm almost home talk to you when i get there fuck Alrighty, so this is the kit that i went with the benzomatic propane warning danger fire i'm gonna crack into it it's one of these bubble packages where you cut yourself on it when you open it i'm gonna crack into this and we'll see how it sets up all well i got it so it's pretty easy to light you just boom Turn it off with the dial. Perfect. So decent. New blowtorch. Wow, the tip doesn't even get hot. Cool. So that'll be good for when we work on things in the garage that have stubborn as fuck parts that are rusted to it. We can just give her the old and be done with it, eh? Fuck yeah! But like I said, I won't be doing that tonight because it's like fucking 26 degrees out still. And I don't feel like blowtorching anything. So, what we're going to do tonight is take it easy. I want to get those fucking videos pushed up to Skaven Games. And I want to make some chicken to eat for supper. Because Skivens is hungry. Skivens is always hungry. Drive two chicken quarters into the guy. Flopper in there at 180. Survey says 22 minutes. We give her the full 22. We'll check on her later. As for me, I need to go upstairs and start getting shit organized. So let's fucking do this. Also, I'm gonna try out this trap liner, the Belgian triple. Nine fucking percent. The bottle is corked so uniquely. Let's give her a go. I know you're probably supposed to pour it into a glass, but it's already in a glass, so. Wow. That's got some different taste to her. North Bay's original brewery, eh? Trap liner, the Belgian triple. Jesus fuck, does that ever kick like a mule? That's nice. Alrighty, just uploaded Golf with Friends episodes. These go live on July 17th, 2016 at 5pm. Skyrim Games! Started uploading them, had to cancel the upload and re-upload them. Why? Fucking started uploading to Vlogging Life. Whoops! They're already on Vlogging Life as live shows, so we don't need that. <coughs> oh man, that beer is fucking weird. It's good, but it's, it's, it's I don't know. I shouldn't say it's, it's okay. It's, a, it's an okay beer. I probably will never buy it again, mind you. But it's an okay beer. Anyway, it's time to chicken. Look at that chicken. Oh my goodness. That looks good. Alright, let's get this on the plate. It's a little hot on the hands. But I'm a little stupid in the head, so... Ow! It's all good. Clean that fucker out tomorrow, because I don't feel like doing it tonight. And it's bony petite, people! It's bony petite! What's kitten Witten doing? What's kitten Witten doing? 
getting wet here. Where the fuck did she go? Oh. Hi. Well, I already got the uploads basically done. Now I just gotta wait for them to complete. Uh, we're good till August, actually a lot further than that. I think we're good till August 14th on uploads on Skaven Games. Which is good because today we are, what, July the 12th. So that gives me like a month to get some more footage for the channel. Perfect. Also, I drank that beer. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. It's kind of rough, actually, I'm not going to lie. It kind of almost tasted like they put grapefruit in it for some reason. Uh, much like the months... Okay, on the back it says... Here, let's read this. It says, Much like the monks who tenderly brew this ale in Belgium monasteries, the trap liner leads a life of solemn contemplation and solitude. Highly carbonated, this golden whatever the fuck, the ale will leave you with a warming glow from its complex flavors and light spiciness. Best served chilled and enjoyed from a tulip glass. Well, I guess this is a tulip glass now. And it contains water, malted barley, Belgian candy sugar, hops, yeast, and there's the website. www.newontariobrewing.com I kind of want to try that syrup one they have next because I heard that one there is uh, interesting. Oh, fuck. Careful, Adam. Apparently it's uh, really sweet. And I'm willing to try that out and see how it works or how it goes. But fuck, man, that bottle of the beer really wrecked me. Like, I'm feeling really weird, all like all sorts of fucking loopy. So, I think I'm gonna shut her down here, people, and get this vlog edited up before shit gets really real and I get right ridiculous. So, uh, we got our torch, two more shifts of work, and I'm off for a day, and we will get that fucking snowblower fixed. So I have to do that on Thursday, we'll bang that on on Thursday, get the mower fixed on Saturday, and shit will get did. So, on that note, thanks for watching my video, people. Hopefully you enjoyed it today. If you did, click that like button. Hey, any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.